Boom bop, y'all. It's time to talk about the sun. The sun. The sun. Okay? Let's talk about that big light ball that we see outside. Let's talk about that Okay, when you go out, you see that sun. When we track every month, that's because that's the position the sun is as it relates to us. Anyway, we're not going to go that far. So, the sun. The sun is where it brings attention to shit. Sun brings a shining ball, a shining bright. Sun is something that sustains what its own type of way. This is why Leo, which is a fixed sign, because it's on the fixed portion of the, the stuck portion of the three month period of summer, which is the middle of summer, which is the fixed point. And since it's fixed, it came from, hey, hey. <laughs> since it's fixed, it came from, uh, um, it came from, it's only, it's only ruled by one planet, right? Or it's only ruled by one zodiac, okay? So that means the sun's attribute, virtue, is to push out masculine because it's Leo and it's fixed. So it's going to push out its own individual sustained type of vision, some type of vision that is not going to move. Like we know that the sun comes here and gives us a certain virtue or vision to want to always go to the light or go to the go to the um direct go to the information go into uh what it means to be seen go into what it means to get a lot of attention because that's going to lead to praise and then you're going to be known for something and the sun likes these things so if you can play these attributes out that's usually the people that get the most attention but who, who can you say giving the attention who, who can you say actually doing the attribute the person controlling the human body, the spirit in that human body. You can't give all the credit to the sun. The sun is just, just like other, boom, the moons here. We got our moods, moon, moods, and then we got our sun, what we think we are. So it's no point in thinking that you're just one of your attributes. This is just one of you. You can be a sun, yes. You can be expressive. You can be active. You can act. We all have an act. But this is just one aspect of you and me. You have one son. You have one. Now you, you have many little different uh, versions of your first son. But your son, further than, than the son, is the father, which is the further thing outside of the son, which the son came from the father type thing. So we, our son, which is our own self, our own soul. That moves throughout this big wave. We have our own individual outlook at it, okay? And from here, this is what actually means to have a soul or a solar plexus or sun in you. While you being yourself and however, whatever time period you resonated with to where you wanted to be aware, you wanted to notice that type of sun shit. Like, remember, sun is fixed, so you notice whatever time period you was born in, okay? So, but we can't sit here and say that we are our sun signs. Cause I'm not a Leo. I don't want attention. That's just something that I created in myself to reflect my own Taurus moon, like the moon. Cause the moon is how you, you know what I'm saying? Think about it. When you look at the moon, that is a reflection of us because the sun bounces off of us. This is how you can still see the reflection during the day. It bounces off of us and then you can see that reflection. So it's the same thing. We all have these virtues, these principles within us. So I just say that to say, don't put too much time into trying to figure out anything outside of you. Because it's it, first of all, anything outside of you that somebody tries to tell you is the direction or something is wrong. Because we all got our own direction, okay? Some people need to stay in there other chakras more than others. We, have, we all have awarenesses, okay? We all have things we know ourselves okay so it's up to us to maneuver these things and bring them together but it don't got nothing to do with just talking about one sun okay just one planet listen we got i mean we got the sun sun y'all can see it sun moon you know what i'm saying <laughs> 
You can't be a selfish God. You got to expand and experience all of your people, all of your many worlds, your many things that came after you, came second. So you're the, you're the creator and they, everything else came second, you know. You got the awareness, everything else came. Same thing, y'all. Do not follow the sun. Um, like the sun's gonna heal you. Like, listen, everything has a good thing to it, but if you don't have your own intent and your own meaning behind it within yourself, then you're just gonna follow the same thought patterns of everybody else that looked at the sun. Remember, it's just the light that comes and brings its own light. Think about anybody that comes and bring their own individuality somewhere. Like, it's looked at good, but imagine if that person kept trying to set the state, like, put put everybody out there and how it sees it. Like, oh, yeah, I knew you was going to do that type of thing. Like, if that person did that all the time, it would turn negative, just like anything. Anything you do all the time will turn negative. But more than that, there's no, sit, there's no right way to even sun gaze. Sun gazing should just be done when you're trying to see, look, the sun is attention and it's vital and it's, and it's like shining the light on something. So the only time you should be putting attention to something like that or sun gazing is when you're trying to, you, you really have the intent to see a situation like the, the, the lightness of it, seeing the, the potential of it, you know? Like, but more than that though, y'all, it's okay, more than that. The sun is just a virtue that we all have. The sun is just represented as how we can see from outside of ourselves, from within ourselves. So we, we're we striving to be our sons. Now we're trying to be our son. We want to act like our son, you know? So that's really it. But you got many other chakras, many other things that need to be seen, not just the May sun. Okay, y'all, we don't just follow the Mason. We go further.